morning everybody another day thought i lost you huh it's my birthday when i'm filming this happy birthday to me i get to go trucking it's a good birthday so uh i left the camera in the truck overnight and i'm searching everywhere all over the house this morning for the camera i thought that i had probably dropped it out the truck or something got to the truck this morning searched the whole truck couldn't find it I was freaking out and suddenly I look over here on the seat and I had put my lunch kit down on the back there apparently I had put my lunch kit on top of you guys and didn't realize it and you were under my lunch kit all morning this whole time how could you guys do that to me on my birthday panicking me <laughs> so you were hiding under my lunch kit April Fools but I found you I found you so uh <laughs> Second time that's happened. Anyways, I'm in the 3080 right now, but the check engine light came on again, and the shop needs to take a look at it. Uh, it's just the bugs are being worked out of it uh, right now. Uh, this has got a brand new engine in it. They just put the engine in. I'm breaking it in and uh, trying not to break it <laughs> at the same time. But it wasn't me. It wasn't me, okay? It wasn't me. Anyway, the engine light came on and uh, they just got to do a little bit of adjustment on the air intake system, I think. That's what the truck's telling me. There's an issue with the air intake. So they're just working the bugs out of it before we put uh, a driver in it for over the highway. This is a van truck. So if you're looking for a job pulling dry vans, we got a truck for you. We're just working a few of the bugs out of the brand new engine. Once they're all out of there, this truck will be ready to go. If you want to work here, you're a Canadian citizen and you have about two years experience and you love trucking, Shoot me an email, truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com. Maybe we can uh, put you in this truck or one just like it. Snap of the finger, just like that. We're back in the old beat. I've grown very fond of this truck, actually. I, uh, I missed it quite a bit. <laughs> I just want my old beat. That's all I want. These new fancy trucks are too much for me. DEF and sensors and this and that and electronics and I just like the old trucks. I guess I'm an old soul. These are the trucks I grew up with, right? My dad drove truck my whole life and I went on the road with him in summers, uh, on my summer breaks with him. And these are the kind of trucks I know. This is a truck. Sounds like a truck, looks like a truck, acts like a truck. It's a little dirty, but she's a work truck. We'll clean her up and eventually she'll be a little prettier. Just needs to do a few things and little touch-ups here and there, you know, do her hair and put her makeup on. And I've got to admit, after I called out Minnesota earlier this week for always snowing on me every time I came here, they stopped doing that to me. So thank you, Minnesota. I know they were probably just trying to tell me that they liked me by sharing their snow with me, right? But like I said, I'm from Manitoba. If you give me snow more than I already have, that's not a, a way to tell me you like me, okay? I have enough snow already. I got too much. I appreciate the gesture, but if you want to show a Manitoban that you really like them, you hand them a palm tree. Okay? That's how you show us that you care. <laughs> That's what you do. None of this snow stuff. Every time I came to Minnesota for the past couple of months, it would just turn into a big blizzard, right? But look at this, the weather's great today. It's fantastic. We just crossed into the US, so uh, we're just in Northwestern Minnesota on Highway 59. We're gonna rocket ourselves down this highway all the way to Thief River, grab a loaded trailer and drag it back home. Then we're gonna do it again later. We're gonna do two of these again today. It's been a long week, we've been busy. But uh, we're out here living the dream, trucking. I mean, I could either do one load today and one load tomorrow on Saturday. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I'd do two today. I have Saturday off. Though I did leave the option open, if they need me to do one more tomorrow, I'll do one more tomorrow. Are you kidding me? You think I'm gonna turn down a good day of trucking? Especially down in the US, huh? It's 
my birthday when I'm filming this today. This is the best birthday gift I could ask for. Just give me some trucking to do. Highway trucking. Right? What better way to spend a birthday? I'm not being sn sarcastic either. I actually do love driving this. <laughs> oh, but it's been a long week. I can't wait for it to be over. I'm going to sleep like a rock. And everyone knows rocks sleep the best. These trips seem to be getting shorter and shorter throughout the week. And I know I'm not going faster. This Peterbilt is limited at 99 kilometers an hour. I know, it's painful. But that's what I'm limited at. And the Western Star was limited at 105 on the cruise. So I was actually going faster yesterday than I was today. But it feels like I got here faster. I'm here for my first load. I'm gonna hook on, well, I just hooked onto it now. Just uh, drop my trailer off right over there. And they're gonna load it up right away. My next load is right over there. That's my second load waiting for me. So I'm gonna bring this load that I have behind me back to the yard, drop it, or have it unloaded, bring this trailer back empty, put it back here so they can load it up with more stuff, and then hook onto that trailer. Does that make sense? That's our day today, it's Friday. And it's my birthday. Have I mentioned that yet? I'm gonna tell you in every clip, it's my birthday. Here you can see all the flags of the Nordic nations. Norway, Sweden, Iceland, Denmark. Those are the nations that populated this area of Minnesota. And this is where Matrax is, they make all those tank looking things for your vehicle. Look, they even got a smart car there. It's behind the sign. You can't see it from here. I'm gonna stop there and take a close look at it eventually. There it is, see? It's a smart car on tracks. It's a smart tank. <laughs> I bet that thing is more useful than a lot of the tanks rolling around uh, nowadays in other parts of the world, right? Smart tank. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. But yes, the Nordic nations populated this area up until the Canadian border. At the Canadian border, it actually turns into Ukrainian settlements. Manitoba has a huge population of Ukrainians. My own family line goes back through Ukraine uh, and southern Ukraine. We were not Ukrainian ourselves. We were Germans, but uh, because of our, I think I've explained this before, right? Because of our religion of the time, or I don't follow it much anymore, but uh, the Mennonite faith uh, sort of got persecuted out of Germany, and Ukraine gave them safe haven. And in 1874, they were uh, kicked out of uh, Ukraine by invading Russian forces, and uh, came to Canada. They were pretty much given the choice, you know? Give up your language, give up your faith, give up your culture and become Russian, speak Russian. Or run. That was your only choices that we had. So my family lines, we ran. We came to Canada, in Western Canada here. Uh, the Mennonites in Ukraine then that decided to submit to the invading Russian forces, uh, they were forcefully relocated into Western Siberia, into a remote part of uh, the Russian wilderness. And now they speak Russian, and they're Russian nowadays. But anyways, so that's our sort of connection to Ukraine. And as soon as you cross the border into Canada, you go through a town called Tolstoy. And uh, there's a Ukrainian church there, uh, Ukrainian flags, Ukrainian cultural center. You go through Tolstoy, then you go through Rosa River, you go up to, uh, the, even all the way up to Sardo. All the way up this highway, exactly, there's a whole bunch of Ukrainian settlements. That's why with everything going on in Europe right now, in Eastern Europe, in Ukraine, it hits really close to home to a lot of people in my region. A lot of people. Canada actually has the largest population of Ukrainians outside of Ukraine and Russia. Because I think there's a lot of Ukrainians living in Russia. But outside of Europe there, 
Canada has the largest population and like I said, majority of them right in Manitoba, right where I live. Another crazy long lineup to get into Canada again today. Even on the four wheeler side over there. It's like 100 or 200 vehicles at least. Cross border traffic has officially resumed. <laughs> Well, the trucks were always busy, but I haven't seen it that busy on the car side in a long time. These guys on my left are coming out of the duty free. So I'm gonna let one guy in, not this guy, just one. I know this guy's gonna try to sneak in there too. That's the way people are, but I let one guy in. And then the guy behind me lets one guy in and you zipper merge. There's three lanes here, I'm in the left lane. And the guys in the left, uh, there's a duty-free shop that's sort of in a, it's in a normal spot when it's not heavy traffic like this, but when there is heavy traffic, it, uh, it creates this, where some people go through the duty-free lane to try to skip ahead of the traffic. And you gotta watch them very carefully because when people do that, you don't wanna let those people in, right? when they're just trying to skip ahead a few trucks. So far, everyone's been acting very good. Behaving very nicely. Like, look at all those cars over there. It's crazy, all going to Canada. A lot of Manitoba plates that I can see from here. Some American plates. What's going on in Canada today that all these people want to come and see us? Look at that. Guess the weather's finally nice, eh? Just fueled up the truck. 761 liters. It doesn't even tell you how many dollars that is because it doesn't want you to die of a heart attack. How thoughtful of them. I'm guessing fuel is about $2 a liter right now. So that was probably a little under $2 a liter probably. We're probably looking close to $1,300 of fuel or $1,400 of fuel. One Philip, And I still had quarter tanks left. Ah. So it's 5.30. We finally got our first load done and we're hooking up to our next empty. There's no one here to empty off that trailer I had. So I gotta grab an empty one. We'll take 109 DB to Thief River. There we go, locked in. So I have to take an empty down so that they can load it, right? Ah. I wasn't expecting it to take this long, but uh, I did have to stop for fuel. I grabbed quite a bit of fuel. That took quite a while because in Canada, you can only fuel one side at a time, so it takes twice as long. And I stopped for a coffee at Timmy's too. But other than that, I mean, I didn't think I was dragging my feet. I thought I was moving pretty quickly and it took seven hours. And now to go back south, the, the port of entry where we cross through empty at Lancaster, Minnesota is closed at six. So we can't cross there. So I've got to go around the long way, which is 30 miles or 50 kilometers further. So it's going to take a little while longer again. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix that. I'll roll up these gear. So it's gonna take a little longer to get down there. That'll add an extra half hour on, but we're gonna see how fast we can do it anyway. Obviously, because I want to go home. But it looks like I'll probably be home after midnight, is what I'm thinking now. I wasn't home much this week at all. Hardly saw the wife. Pretty much just to say goodnight, give her a kiss goodnight when I got home, go straight to bed, wake up before her, ran out the door every day. But hey, that's life, right? 34 years old now. This is what all you youngsters have to look forward to when you're 34. Work, 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 work. What else is there to life? There is nothing else to life. This is the purpose of life. That's why it's very important. Listen up. Very important, youngsters, that you find a job, a career that you enjoy doing, okay? Because this is the amount of time you're gonna spend doing your job. You better enjoy it. You better find one you enjoy. Because to me, this isn't work. This is fun. Look at me, I gotta drive trucks around all day. I'm like a big giant kid. 
See, when I was a kid, I'd play with toy trucks all the time. Now I'm an adult, I still play with toy trucks. They're just a lot bigger and more expensive. So those airbags are filling up back there. Good, okay, I'm gonna climb back in here. We're gonna leave here at about 5.45. Let's see how fast we can get this done. Let's see if we can get back by midnight. I'm expecting to be back here at midnight. We'll see what happens. I started late today, remember? So, my own fault. Once again, back at the Canadian border. I got the green light up there, but uh, we're supposed to supposed to leave this little street open here, not block it, I think. So there's two trucks waiting there. Once the guy in front of them gets through, that guy will pull up and then I'll pull in behind him. Oh, looks like it's our turn. I'll see you on the other side. I'm tired. It's 11.30. And with an hour and 20 minutes remaining on our 16 hour clock. Rolling up to work. And the light is still purple. Or is it black? Is it a black light now? Because black lights always turn purple when you light them up, right? Which is weird. You know, you go to a bowling alley and they're like, black light bowling. You go there, so no, no, it's purple light bowling. Don't lie to me. What would a black light look like anyway? It's not black, it's purple. Give me a gear, come on, any gear, there we go. There's a lot of them. On the way up from uh, the US border, a lot of the lights turning purple. I wonder if anyone's gonna get sued over that because they're all defective, right? That's a lot of money. These are expensive lights. They're, those, they're the new LED street lights, right? They use much less hydroelectricity, but they're also very expensive. So I don't know. I don't know my problem. Not my monkeys, not my circus. Is that the saying? Not my circus, not my monkeys? You know what I mean. Man, I'm tired. Let's park this thing and go home. Okay, now I hear you. We can't park it on the road. We gotta bring it into the yard. We gotta park it where they need it. Out in the open where they can unload it. We made it. First things first though, we gotta bring our paperwork in here. Then we'll go in there. Take our straps off the load, get it all ready to be unloaded. 
then we can go home. Hooray! What a week. How's that for artsy? Getting artsy. Artsy with my content creator. I'm, I'm, I, did I impress you? Probably not. So we made it back. I'm just wrapping this up. Another long, long day. Uh, no issues though. It was just a really long day, a late day, but it was Friday. So this weekend, Britt and I have uh, our, uh, well, her appointment to get her ultrasound, to get the, the go time, the really go, go time of the IVF procedure started, which means she goes in for an ultrasound and she starts getting those needles in her gut every day for like a week. And then after that, we got to go in every second day to, so the doctors can do an ultrasound like every second day. We'll talk more about this in the future. I will make a separate video of it this weekend and fill you guys in on all that. Just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. And uh, it's been a lot of Thief River and back all week. Did another two today, so busy times, busy times. I realized it's, it was quarter end, so it probably has something to do with it. Everything gets really busy at quarter end all the time. Seems to be the way the world turns and cookie crumbles. So thanks everybody. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow me on social media other than here. Uh, Facebook all the way to TikTok. You can find me all over the internet. Uh, links and my usernames are all down below in the description of all my videos. Uh, the secret word for today to put in the comment section just so I know you made it all the way to the end is Beetlejuice. All right, don't explain it to anybody who asks about it. They gotta watch all the way to the end. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Make sure you comment that down below so that I know you made it all the way to the end, okay? Sorry I didn't explain that there for the new people. At the end of the vlog, sometimes I give you a special secret word that you gotta go and put down below in the comment section so that I know you made it all the way to the end. And people are going to ask, like, why, are, why is everybody commenting Beetlejuice? Why is this? The trick is don't, don't tell them. Don't tell them why. Just let them wonder. Okay, because then we know they didn't make it all the way to the end. Ah, see, we caught them. That's how we catch them. All right. <laughs> see you tomorrow, everybody.